quick score is the fastest and easiest way to automate your balance scorecard. This is a quick demo of the software and it shows you how three different types of people would use it. So if I were a typical employee, I'd care a lot about this home section that you see when you first log into the software. Over here in alerts, I can see that product cost has taken a turn for the worse, and I can click on it to drill down, but I see that I also have some responsibilities over here. I'm responsible for updating three measures. I own 10 measures and I own two tasks. So let's take a look at measure updates. Now, you'll often have QuickScore wired up so it's automatically pulling values from your spreadsheets or databases, but there are times when you'll need to manually update values, and these are the three I'm responsible for. So every month I'm going to log in and enter values for product revenue and training revenue and book revenue. And finally, I'm going to go to my measures. This shows all the measures that I want to keep an eye on. I could filter down and only show the red ones. Now, keep in mind that I'm already getting email alerts the second one of these turns red, but it's nice to have the home section as a place for people to go where they can get a good feel for what they're responsible for and how it's all performing. Another type of person who'd use QuickScore is a high level executive. They're gonna spend a lot of their time in this bookmark section where they click through their top five or six screens that they really care about and then get on with their job. My first bookmark is our corporate strategy map where I can see at a glance how my corporate strategy is doing. I can see here that improved customer retention is red, but it is up from last month. Or the sales pipeline where I can see how ad clicks go into leads and then to new trials and then new customers. We're doing great at the bottom of the funnel, not so hot at the top. Or maybe this sales versus expenses dashboard, where I can see my main three revenue areas and my four main cost areas, including book production or product, all operating expenses. Here at the bottom, we're further breaking down operating expenses into 10 main measures like travel or insurance. Here's an effects of IT initiatives dashboard, where you can see measures like network availability and IT effectiveness index and how they're being affected by these main initiatives we have in place called migrate servers to the cloud and build a search engine optimization capability. But it's not just dashboards and strategy maps. There are also reports like this red measures report that shows every single red measure in the entire application. Or we can take a closer look at this migrate servers to the cloud initiative. QuickScore has some really smart algorithms that can predict whether you're going to be on time and under budget, and here it says we're going to be 21 days late, but slightly under budget. If we scroll down to the bottom, we can see the initiative's performance over time. And that's high-level executives. They're going to click through all their bookmarks and get a good feel for how the entire organization is performing. A third type of person who'd be using QuickScore is a power user. Instead of using the bookmark section to see how they're performing, they're going to actually dig into the software to visit the individual sections. So we'll start with scorecards. And now for the first time, we have to choose an organization. This is my company's org tree, and every organization here can have a balanced scorecard. I'm going to choose the root organization, Mobile World Incorporated. And this is my company's balanced scorecard broken into the four perspectives and you can click on it to expand and see the objectives underneath that perspective. And finally the measures at the very bottom. And you can see the current performance of everything and you can see the, the performance over time. Everything gets a score and that score is rolled up the tree. Next is the initiative section. We've already seen the migrate servers to the cloud initiative, but let's take a look at this build a search engine optimization capability. You can see that we're gonna be 15 days early and we're gonna be quite a bit under budget, but what's really interesting is that both the schedule and the budget are being pulled from these underlying tasks and milestones. And so you can explore these and click on things and jump back and forth between the sections. But the general idea is it's gonna roll up the total budget and it's gonna roll up the start and end dates and give you an overall picture of how your initiative is performing. And the last thing in the foundation section that we're gonna look at is files. And this is where you can upload Word documents or PDFs uh, and link them to initiatives or measures as supporting information. And this is also where you're gonna to wanna to upload your corporate logo so you can use it on dashboards and strategy maps. Speaking of strategy maps, let's take a look at the four presentation sections. Now, you've already seen this strategy map when it was part of a bookmark, but what you haven't seen is the ability to click on one of the objectives 
and drill down for more information. Now we're in the scorecard section. Let's take a look at dashboards. We've seen this dashboard as well, but there's other things that are pretty interesting. For example, this call center status dashboard shows measures here at the bottom like we've seen before, but above them is an embedded third-party dashboard widget that shows data from other websites or software programs. In this example, we're looking at Google Maps data. In charts and reports, we've seen this red measures report before, but this report shows downward trending measures where the measure is lower in performance this month than last month. And finally, the briefing section. Briefings are a lot like PowerPoint, except for the data is always up to date. And as you're clicking through the slides, if there's a question during your meeting, you can directly interact with it and drill down and find out what's going on. Right now, this briefing is paused, as you can see up on top here, and I can click around and answer whatever questions folks have. Then I can click the link on the top and I can resume my briefing right where I was before. So that's QuickScore in a nutshell. It's software that automates your balanced scorecard so everyone in your organization is on the same page.